former offensive coordinator at Wisconsin. This set very Wisconsin looking as Connor breaks a tackle, gets to the outside. And he's grabbing possession. Pitt had a little something going before Wojtek fumbled on the scramble. They go to James Connor, circle button, and he picks it up out to the 30 yard line, about a 16. Back to Connor. And he's hit immediately by Ken and Canham. Nine. Connor, good running room off the left side. He's up close to the 40 yard line. It'll be a yard or two. They haven't seen me yet. They're seeing him now. Yeah, they said to Dave's point, they haven't felt him yet either. And you see this. This guy is north south, and he moves the pile. When you, you bet you. Connor there goes. moves the pile, first down Panthers. Pile gets the push up front, but look, loaded box on defense. There's no mystery. Downhill, put your head into somebody's back and drive those legs. Run blitz at Connor, and this time they knock him down in the backfield. The secondary that loves to tackle, check out right here, coming straight, right into your living room, right into Bonner's legs and, and, and chin. It has really made it tough against quarterbacks who are seeing his defense for the first time as Voidick is. Connor picks up maybe one to try to get something going. But important now, as Pitt starts with a second and nine, that they take advantage of this good field position they had. And Voidick short. I want to try to get him outside the pocket, make the reads easy. Look at 23. If he's open, try to throw it to him. He had a chance to throw well, Kansas State. Might have a little something to say if they could win that game. Oh, boy, does Boykin get drilled. Daddy Nicholas. Third down and two. Go to Connor. He's looking for room and not finding any. And then the football comes out late. And Virginia Tech has it. Chuck Clark. Second fumble of the... It's fumbled. It's tough sledding when you're running into 10-man boxes like they are. You know you've got to have very good ball security. As you take a look at this again, and, and it's hard to tell from that angle there, guys, was his knee already down when that football came out? One of the things that makes Connor great is getting second effort yards, and you see him bounce off the tackle. But watch Donardo come in there, and you can see it's a, a heads-up play for him to strip it out, but that's close. Ruling on the field was a fumble, so you need conclusive video evidence. His elbow is down right there. Yeah. That's and, not a fumble. And wow. forearm and forearm is the same yep. as the knee. And one thing we should point out, our replay booth tonight, we'll be able to see exactly. The ruling is the runner was down. It'll be fourth down and one. Eligibility. First and 20. Boyd, Boyd's wide open. He's got it. Tyler Boyd inside the 20. Kendall Fuller makes the tackle. Pressing. Yeah. Not playing up as much as they did. They picked up 16 on first down. They went to Connor on second. He runs through a couple of guys, and James is going to pick up one. Touchdown percentage has been 71%, but they'll need to convert to third down to get it here. Connor plowing. Connor on his feet, and he'll score. Pounder just rumbled into the end zone. We talked about how playing a pressure defense, obviously with big people on the field, you're going to get a loaded box, but you can gash them. If you break a tackle in the second level, or two or three, he runs. Shovel pass. Connor has some running room, and boy, he would have had a whole lot more. Watch him engage the, the blocker that comes up to him. Right there, he hits 53, get off of him, and then makes a tackle on a 250 pound running back in space. Otherwise, he might have struck up the band right there. He's only 215 pounds. In the red zone. Now Connor. Connor in the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Heinz <laughs> Field nightmare is starting to unfold for the right guard. TJ Clemens, watch what he does to Daddy Nicholas. Just throws him out of the way. And then a great job, Connor, making Jerry. Usher and second leading receiver tonight. And a 49-yard run the last time Pitt had the ball. And he gets the corner. By running him over and over. He's done so successfully tonight. It's that shovel pass to Connor that hard pretty short, short passes. Right. And a lot of quarterback run. Voidick has the first down. Voidick's still on his feet, and he's knocked down just short of the 40. Virginia Tech. Only 36. Now the guy we're expecting to see run it a lot, James Connor. A couple of touchdown runs. Starting center, Artie Rowell, who tore an ACL earlier this year. 
Look at Connor. Connor still on his feet. Tough, determined run. Trying to wear a defense down. This is demoralizing if you're Virginia Tech on defense. A play like this. And look at the offensive line continuing to push. He does his job. And you know what? Vordick's kind of taking the onus off him. So he hadn't had to do all the damage. Now he gets to, he's got fresh leg. One, Jamar Parrish, go right behind him. 24 gets it. Connor into the secondary, into the red zone, inside the 15. James Connor. So with this rushing up, Parrish, just look at big 31 lead the way here. Take you to daylight, get a smaller body that you're blocking on. And all of a sudden, a lot of these tackles that Virginia Tech was making earlier close to the... <laughs> Connor. He got him this time. Uh, well, he, he made the first hit. He slowed him down enough to let a host of Hokies. This time, they'll go to Connor and hit in the backfield. Corey Marshall.